This is one really weird ensemble. It's focusing. Cheers! Why? I have arrived in LA. Today was a really great day. Landed. Plane ride was smooth. Um, probably could have almost missed my flight if it weren't for my Nexus. So, and the very first thing was that I got to meet up with April. 99 cents for three yards. Why isn't this my life? April's gonna show me all of her favorites. If you don't know about April, she is a fellow sewing YouTuber here. Um, she is very talented, so. I highly recommend that you go check out her videos if you haven't seen them yet. I actually feel kind of nervous because I just haven't traveled alone in a long time and um, I don't know how to put it but I feel almost like being married has kind of made me a little bit wimpier. The nervousness that I'm feeling is telling me that I've spent too long in a comfort zone and that it's time to expand. So let's go to the grocery store. A brave new world. took some time to do some work. I got ready. Today I am meeting up with Nava Rose and we're gonna shoot a tutorial together. This is just the beginning of an action-packed week since yesterday I was with April, today with Nava. So I do think I have developed a little bit of a coffee addiction. Like <laughs> I'll get like a slight headache if I haven't had my daily coffee. So I packed a roasted milk tea packet. Can you use? I don't know if you can see the tea bag, but. Mm. And it's good. I gotta get changed and then we're gonna head out with my DIY supplies. Let's do it. One perk of being here is I have really taken over the counter space. My TSA bag, which something, I think it was my primer, exploded. I still need to wash this a few more times because I tried to get it all off and it's still there. You. Never sew with another person. <laughs> this feels so like sewing party. Sewing party. <laughs> I once found an article that explains how they name everything. Really? Mm -hmm. They kind of have like rules, like all the bathroom stuff has like lakes and bodies of water as the inspiration for the names. The sun is setting. We've come out here to shoot you our looks. Nava's getting her fancy cam. Work, yes. Oh. <laughs> Who knows if it's even gonna taste good? It's not that bad. Sorry, my hair is such a mess. Alright, I'm just taking these are hair velcros. If you don't know about it, now you do. Mm, I think I will at some point go out and get my nails done. It's been a while. Everyone who's used to my channel having the nice nails, I had to kind of take a break. I'm just reading my Devo's Table Talk magazine, plus journaling, and then around 8 p.m. or so, my whole family will be here. Let's get ready. Does anyone have good recommendations for sunscreen that is strong, powerful, waterproof, 
but also does not make your skin look paler. Now I'm just squeezing it out through here because it exploded, remember? This pimple is trying to stake a claim on the face and via the power of NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, I banish you! So yesterday with Navra was super fun. We just ended up chit-chatting, like getting to know like who you are, like how did you get into YouTube, um, what your life is like now, what you think about it all. And near the end it got kind of like another layer deeper. We were talking about like experiences we've had as Asian females or like micro, microaggressive, racist stuff that we've dealt with. It was a good time and I feel like because of that I want to be a little bit more outgoing in terms of meeting up with other YouTubers and working together. I've been kind of shy. I think it is true like the you, you know you don't know what you've never experienced and like when I share with Dan about like different aspects of being Asian, being female, it's almost been like oddly gratifying to see him become more aware of things that he didn't really think about before. Uh, this year I've been working on trying to get thicker skin and what I mean by that is trying to like really regain good solid grounded confidence in who I am, who I want to be, um, as well as like really having a more balanced perspective about you know what matters in terms of other people's opinions even kind of like feeling happier with the boundaries that i've set with social media have been something to consider deliberately uh yesterday for example like i just hung out with navin i wasn't all like trying to take photos all the time or like be like oh let's do a boomerang photos just feel so transient now and they don't really feel like they carry the same weight um, and yet we overthink them even more than we used to. You have like 30 photos of you doing different poses in a selfie. Like, what harm would there be to have them all be lost? weird how even as an adult I still feel pressure to look responsible in front of my family so I tried to like clean up my area a little and make sure the kitchen looked orderly. Parents, they're your parents forever. I'm real better watch me go. I got the voice and I got that flow. For all the girls gotta let them know. We the ones that Today we're at Redondo Beach. Look at Dan in my shade. It's wedding time. This is our first time traveling for a wedding destination and it is quite the destination. Who are you? Dan downloaded TikTok like a month ago and now he's just become a TikTok boy. That's everyone who downloads TikTok, that's what happens. I know, it's true. You get addicted.
were here literally two nights ago to have Korean barbecue and now we're back and I've changed into a black shirt because when at Korean barbecue, do not wear white. Duh. So squish. <laughs> we came here and it looks kind of boring. Yeah, weak, weak, weak mini golf. Do you still want to do this? You're being such a hater. All right, if you love mini golf, no hate on you. But I just want to know, what is it that you love about mini golf? What makes it a thrilling activity? She will hate on you. 